Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, we're back in the kitchen again, and today I'm actually doing a video I've been waiting on for so long. I am gonna make my own gingerbread house. Not just any house, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna try something different. I will get to that later. But yes, we're back in the kitchen. It's gonna be a little bit of a hang out with me while I mess up things again, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna be good at this because my mom needs to correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think we have ever built a gingerbread house ourselves. I think we bought a kit once. Did not go well, did not go well. And we've never built one. And I have never made the actual gingerbread the dough myself either. So there's a lot of news in this video. As I was saying, I made the dough myself and I also included the recipe in this video if you guys want to do it yourself. So I will I will jump to when I'm actually making the recipe. But I also want to note that I did half the batch. Like I didn't want too much dough because I'm just gonna make this house and then I'm gonna eat it in a few days. <laughs> but like I didn't want to make too much basically. So I halved it, but that also means that some of the ingredients is like a weird amount, like one and a half eggs. Like I mean what? So just know that it's because I have the recipe. You could just double it up, get more dough, but the amounts will be well, well they will just basically make more sense. If you want to know how to make your own gingerbread men though, then keep on watching. First what you want to do is pour in half a deciliter of syrup. Then you want to add two and one quarters of a deciliter of sugar. Then you want to add 200 grams of butter, half a teaspoon of cloves, crushed up cloves. I didn't have that because my store was out of them. So I bought the like big ones and crushed them up myself, which was a lot of work. I had to sift them and you know, many steps. So please just get the crushed up <laughs> cloves. You want to add half a teaspoon of ginger and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Make sure your cinnamon is for good quality and it's a real cinnamon. Not There's a lot of knockoff cinnamons on the market and I recommend going for a real quality cinnamon. So you want to put this on the stove, put it on a medium heat and just kind of bring it to a slight boil. You want to add one and a half deciliter of potato starch, potato flour, whatever you call it, one and a half egg, one and a half tablespoon of baking soda, and also five deciliters of flour. And this you wanna mix until the dough is an even consistency and there's no lumps, everything is well mixed together. And then you also wanna let it rest for the whole night. So you need to make this day before you actually want to use it. And then the gingerbread men are going to bake at a 200 degrees Celsius for five to eight minutes. So making this dough is actually really easy and I had a lot of fun and I think, I think so far it turned out great. It smells good. It's really hot. I don't know how I'm going to get this out. And as I was saying before, I'm not going to really make just a plain house and that's it. I wanted to do something different. The worst part about making a gingerbread house, I think, is the roof. I don't want to make that roof. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the hassle, anything of that. So when I saw, there was actually a picture on Instagram. I'm gonna either I'm gonna write it on the screen. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Something because I'm gonna give this person credit because I thought it was so cool. So I saw this little house thing, which is just kind of like a little city. I got it up now. Like a little city of houses that they just kind of put together, but yeah, I don't know. It just looked different and fun and cool. And I kind of want to do that. So that is kind of what we're going for, but yeah, I don't have any of these molds, so everything is going to be kind of like making it up as I go. We'll see what this turns out to be, but I think it's time to start baking some cookies. I'm going to put on the oven to 200 degrees, get that preheating, and then we want to get to this little station and flour it up. 
I also have one of these lined with Prussian paper all ready to go for my pieces that I'm going to put on top. I'm going to get the station ready, get some flour out. You want your rolling pin ready? Get some. And because I don't have molds for the houses, I'm just kind of gonna freebase it a little bit and just make up my own. And these are easy to just get a straight line, so just a pizza cutter will do. And I'm gonna make start making a few houses. Okay, so it's been a few hours. First of all, I have many things to tell you guys, many things. First of all, I forgot that when you are putting your gingerbread things in the oven, you need to put small things on one tray and big things on another tray. So they have like an even time to cook because I put big things with small things and all the small things got a little bit like, a little bit crispy on the ends not burnt but a little bit crispy so that's tip number one tip number two don't wear a shirt like this when you're baking don't just don't tip number i don't even know is when you're cooling them down i told you guys to take a tray my tray have my tray here filled with all my pieces my tray was actually too big so i just took a piece of parchment paper and a really thick hefty cooking book like this to just kind of like place it on top of your baby pieces like say for example this one because you want to really like flatten him down you want to make sure there's no like air bubbles still have some air bubbles here you want to like help them get them completely flat so that's what the book is for <clears throat> so yeah i think i'm going to start out by planning my little house how i want it this is the problem. I want you guys to see what I'm doing, but I also kind of want to be in the shot. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think I'm not going to be in the shot. <laughs> I just heard how that sounded. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pan you guys on the table and we're going to get planning. Sugar. This is really, really hot, but it's now melted, so this is going to be our glue, and I'm going to keep it right here, and this is not for children to play with, this is like, you need to be very careful. So I'm going to start out with this part of my little house, and I'm going to make it this wide. <music>
Then I tried to put it together. I made all the freaking cookies. It took me all day. Then I burnt myself. I guess you saw that. And that was the most severe burn I've ever had in my life. I went to bed with my hand still in water. Like I could not take out my hand for the life of me. I had to take two painkillers. Like it was crazy. It was crazy. I'm so, like I'm trying to stay positive but I'm fuming, <laughs> I'm fuming. So, then I was like, okay, my boyfriend, my hero is gonna come and help me put this piece of shit, I'm sorry, this thing together. And he did, it's standing, I broke so many pieces. He tried to fix them and we got something. And then I was like, great, great, now I'm just gonna Spritz on some of this, put on some. <coughs> Getting sick also. Oh no, now I lost my voice. <coughs> put on some sprinkles and then just cover the whole shit in powdered sugar and you won't be able to see a thing. That was my idea. I made this. It took me forever because I followed the recipe. I did not just make things up, but that recipe was not correct. So this was the driest frosting I've ever worked with in my life. It didn't even stick to the house. It was so dry. Look at this. It just crumbles into little fat pieces of frosting. I'm so mad. So I was like, you know what? I give up. I actually give up. I give in. My voice is gone. I'm done with today. So. This is the house. I mean, how beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm no joke gonna throw this thing in the garbage. I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, bye guys, love you.